everyone, we are now here in Bhutan. So our tour guide just picked us up. And um, so we just decided to stop somewhere here before going to the hotel. But look at the view. Great, lovely. So nice, right? Okay, so we're heading now to the hotel. And all the buildings is very identical. There's a similar structure. Can foreigners own property here? Yeah. Can foreigners own property? Uh, of course, but then, but then you need to have a partner from Bhutan. teachers before. I'm not sure right now when we are young. Uh, we used to have lots of teachers from Canada. Here's a here's a long shot question for you. Do you know? Hey everyone, so we are now here at the hotel in Bhutan. So I'm going to give you a tour. Lavi, what's the name of the hotel? <laughs> Stop! What's the name of the hotel? The name of the hotel is Hotel Druk. Druk. Yeah, hotel drug or hotel, hotel drug, something like that. So this is the bedroom. Oh my gosh. Look at the bedroom. It's so freaking huge. So huge. And yes, they have a heater because it's already 10 degrees Celsius here. So it's cold. And the closet here. Now we have the toilet. Or the bathroom, the toilet is here. I mean, the toilet is there. Let me just shower. So nice. And then the bathtub. This is cool. Let's see. I am 74 kilogram. Oh my gosh, I feel so overweight. <laughs> Based on my body mass. Is it body mass, BMI? Mm -hmm. Like it's overweight. Let's see. Ninety-six. I think it's fine. Now this is the living room. So we have a working space, television, another chair here. My gosh, it's really nice and it's so so huge, right, Lavi? Oh, you already destroyed the welcome. Mm. Should I have Good. a welcome cookies or something? Look at that, like if you're taking a bath. Mm. So nice. And let's look at the view outside. So yeah, we're in the city center of Bhutan, which is called Pimpu. So this is the capital. Oh, by the way, uh, from Paro International, so it's gonna be Nepal and then to Paro International Airport. That's the only international airport here in Bhutan. So from that, you will drive one hour or so to reach to the capital, which is Thimpu. And this is gonna be the main, um, what do you call it? Like main tourist spot. So there are some monuments or temples here that we're going to visit today as well. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting day because you know like the country, it really reminds me of Cusco. Right, Lavi? It's it's kind of like Cusco, Peru. Yeah, the, the, the landscape, the views, oh my gosh, like it's just so nice. And the people are so nice as well because, you know, like Bhutan is actually considered as one of the most happiest country in the world. And also they are carbon negative, which is, you know, amazing. So we are now walking in the capital city of Bhutan, which is Pimpu. It's hard to go with the name, uh, his name, unfortunately. Working as a guide or anywhere? 
Every day? Yes. Every day when we are in work. Well, mm -hmm. when you're working. Oh, just when working. Okay. But you can see people walking in. I know. Okay. So this is the the biggest, the biggest city Buddha statue in the world. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And it's all made of bronze. My gosh, look at that. Are those eagle? I think you. Wow. Lovey, look at those eagles. Nice. And um, crane is the national bird, right? Or raven? Okay. But you were but the Heavenly bird. This is so nice. Bhutan is so beautiful.
metals are mostly used in bulls, horse, and then mules to carry loads not for riding. So you can see this one, it's made out of yak still. In olden days, they just use it for testing purposes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and you can even see we have salt and then the shells over here. So all the salts and shells were used while they have battles and all. Nowadays, it's been also given to the higher authority people, like ministers and all. So this also represents the like, high like, responsibility of a person. Okay? If you're interested, you may also hold the salt, shells, take picture. If you'd like to take picture together, I can also help you with that. After that, we'll proceed to next. Okay, thank you. I'll check out that sword. <coughs> You can see the blue marks here. So these blue marks we call it as victorious marks or we can also call it as wrathful form of Buddha. So you can see there are five skulls on its forehead. So those five skulls represent five poisons of human mind like anger, pride, jealousy, desire and ignorance. So if we human can overcome all those five poisons, test them with the child. Mm. And he is also known as divine madman since he has the craziest methods of subduing diamonds, okay? You know, like all the gods, they have their auspicious weapons to subdue diamonds. But in case of yeah. him, like he uses his own phallus yeah. as a weapon here. So we also believe that his phallus has many different kind of powers, like thunderbolt, fire, wind, and all. Cool. The power of his phallus has been also compared to the power of a dragon. Mm -hmm. So you can see over there in the corner, phallus along with the dragon. Over here in the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we believe that both of them has the equal power. And have you noticed like all the shapes being painted on the walls, yeah. some hanged on the doors? Yes. Those are all to choose the evil spirits. Okay? So we even use it as a necklace. Also. Yeah, I actually bought that teaching. Place it here and then tie it with a piece of cloth. As soon as we start heating from down, a distillation process will take place here. So evaporated vapors will get cooled down and will be collected into this smaller bowl, which we use it as wine. Okay? So like, have you tried butter tea?
So this is the fortress, Tipu Fortress, the, mm -hmm. is also the office of the king. Where's the office of the king? This side. This one? Yeah, this side. And his palace is here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And what's this built? Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like it, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and follow all my social media below. So once again, this is Sass reminding you all to stay golden.